Hi people, welcome to another video here. Yeah? Now, it's not a workout, it's more of a demonstration. Those that know me, know I'm injured. So I can't work out to full capacity until I get better, yeah? I'm doing like off camera little training things for this shoulder, yeah? And the good news is, it is getting better and I don't want to push it. So today's video is more of a demonstration, yeah? But I'm really excited about it because I've bagged this little thing here. Now it doesn't look much, but you've got them there. And then you've got two springs there. So this one's £30. Just put my glasses on. Sorry, that one's £20. That's £20, that's £40. Then you've got a £25 and a £20. Yeah. And together they go like that. Turn that into a chest expander. But the best part is, it's a wall exerciser. Yeah. Like the old sandow. So, do you know when I said I'll do the sandow door exercise or wall exercise that I'll do a train like a legend video? I can now do it because I've got this. Yeah, piece of kit that you train up door with. I've had a bit of a play with it and I'm really excited about it. I like it. The only problem is when I bought it, there's things missing. There's like a little clip that puts these two together. So I've had to kind of invent something to get it together. In the book, yeah. They've got a clip there that allows one spring on each side. That's two springs in total. And they go on an handle like that. So you can only put two springs on this thing. Yeah. But what I'm going to do, because I've got that clip missing, I'm going to make it out of that. So I'm going to cut this off here. But if you look, I'll have one, two, three, four, five. I'll have five. So I'll have that to wall. And then I'll be able to put two springs on each handle. So it'll make it a lot harder. And it'll be a good workout. So, that's good. I mean, I don't mind destroying this because I've got a few anyway. Um, but yeah, that'll be good. I'm going to go cut this off now and then I'm going to start training. But before that, look at this. Terry's light dumbbell system. Yeah, a full workout. In total, there's uh, 27 exercises. I'll just give you, to show you an example. So we've got that little man there with, it, with a little big write-up about how to do it. Yeah, it's a full book. Very nice. So I've now got Teddy's steel sand workouts, light dumbbell system workouts. And today I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration on the combination chest expander and wall. But I'm going to use it only as a wall exercise today, yeah? Because that's what this is. But it's amazing, isn't it? Right, so I took one of them because I've got spares. I've chopped that off a bit, yeah, because I ain't got the clip that should have come with the uh, wall exerciser, so I've made my own. So I've got these carabiners out of my uh, pro iron set, and I'm going to set it up now. So that big one is for when you use it as a chest expander. This little one is when you use it as a wall exerciser. So this goes up here. I've put it on carabiner so it's easy and quick. Otherwise it takes a long time, but I might to be fair. No, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it on carabiners. And we're good to go. We have got a wall exerciser. Yep. Wall exerciser, ready to go, yeah. Pow, 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 okay, So pow. let's get started. Remember, this is only a demonstration. So the first exercise is this one there, yeah. And it basically says, broaden in the chest, stand with the back to the exerciser with one leg advanced. The knee bent so that the leg below the knee is at the right angles to the floor. The other leg, keep it straight. Grip a handle with each hand, palms in front, the arms being straight down at the sides, uh, about a foot from the hips. Chest projecting, shoulders drawn back, head erect, chin well drawn in. Carry the hands upwards and backwards as far as possible to a point above the head. At the same time, bending the head backwards so that the face looks up at the hands. The chest must be well thrust forward and a deep inspiration taken as the arms are raised. 
the hand should be retained in the upward position for three, four or five seconds and then return to the original position and the movement repeated. Whilst during the old movement the elbows must be perfectly stiff. Right, so we're off. I think I've interpreted it correctly. So one knee, one knee bent, one leg straight, yeah. Arm straight and we go up to there. Hold it five, one, two, three, four, five, and down. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, I'm going to lean forward a bit, put a bit of pressure on the arm, yeah. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. Well, what can I say about that exercise? I'm not impressed. It doesn't do a thing. Yeah. All right, put a little bit of emphasis on the shoulders. The springs pull the shoulders back into the sockets. Nice. But it doesn't really do a thing for training as far as I can see yeah so that's a big no Terry's exercise number one is a fail exercise number two let's have a look so we've got him there look deepen in the chest back to the exercise the legs and body in the same position as number one or change the legs a handle in each hand palms on the floor to the floor so the palms are to the floor this time arms projected straight forward on a level with the shoulders, with the elbows stiff, hands six inches apart. Let the hands go straight upwards and backwards till they're quite perpendicular to the floor. <clears throat> and about 12 inches apart, bending the head backwards, following the hands with the face always, looking towards them. Then maintain the hands in this position for a few seconds, endeavour to stretch them as far upwards as possible. Inhale as deeply as possible when the hands are going up. Retain the breath for as long as possible as the hands remain in the upright position. Return to the original position and repeat. So, the hands should be there. One knee out. Yep. Get a bit of strain on. And breathe. Hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And back. One, two, Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to try it another way, yeah? I'm going to wrap it out. Exercise number two, verdict. We need more springs, so I'm going to put some springs on. Right, so I've gone through all that, changing all springs, yeah. It don't work, right. This is only £20 or £25 against a £20-pounder. But now it's £25 against £50. So... That's stretching. This is stretching before they stretch because it's weaker. So there's only one way around it, isn't there? To take this off. Now we're straight onto the door. 
Let's see what happens. <coughs> wow, it's harder. So, yep, that's hard. Right, I, can, I need to take springs back off now. Right, so I've gone completely off script with this contraption. I've done away with that part of it, yeah, because it just seems to make it light and flimsy. And I've actually just gone back to the springs straight on door, yeah. So let's try that exercise again. So straight away, the resistance is there. So pull, yes, you can feel it now, right. And it's these pulling me back. So one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now already, that is now a workout. And I can feel it in my shoulders. Also, I can feel it in my abdominals. So I'm slopping. Ooh, that side's weaker. Yep, that works. That actually works. So yeah, just to recap, I've done away with that part that seems to make it really flimsy and stretchy and easy. And I've just put it straight onto the door, which instantly made it hard. So I'm going to go back to exercise one. So exercise one, arms down here. Yep, up. One, two, three. Yeah, better, but we're pulling them at full stretch. That's the only problem. Yeah, so it's probably not ideal, but it is better for the uh, the old deltoids. Right, we're getting somewhere now. I've took the carabiners off from there. Yep, and from there, and I've replaced it with a smaller clip because what it were doing was it were kind of making you too far away from the springs, making them all too far apart, and making it easier. So now I've done that. It brings the contraption closer together, yeah, so there's more resistance, yeah. Don't ask me how that worked, because I'm not a physicist, um, but it just works. It just makes it a little bit harder. So we're set up now, we're going to go on to the next exercise. Right, when you get new pieces of kit, people, it's trial and error, yeah. You've got to be prepared to do a bit of trial and error. Right, so the next exercise is this man here, yep. Exercise three, serratus magnus, or striking muscle. Back to the exercise, legs and body as in number one position, a handle well gripped in each hand, and the elbows well drawn back at the sides of the body. Shoot the arm straight forward as far as possible, with great vigour, being careful to cause a little vibration in the spring as, as possible. On a level with the shoulders, retain them there for a good second or two, and then draw them back to the original position with equal vigour and caution and retain there with muscles well contracted for a second or two. If this exercise be performed in a half-hearted way, only the anterior deltoid and the triceps are brought into play and no force is put into the blow. If however the exercise be performed with vigour as in an imaginary boxing contest then not only do the deltoids raises the arm and the triceps straightens the elbow but the pectoris major and the serratus magnus the really powerful striking muscle, are brought into play. And if you wish to put more power into the blow, the obliquus or obliques, abdominis muscles, enable us to put full weight into it. Right, so, should look like this. 
So the oh yeah, so the arms back. What what? Leg number one. Blow one. Well, I have to say, the exercise number three gets a thumbs up. Yeah, it's a really good exercise. Now, listen, don't do these exercises thinking that you're going to get a mad pump. It's not like that. It's a nice cardiovascular, getting your muscles moving, under tension workout, yeah? All workouts are different and you have to, you have to list them differently, you know, in your brain. You have to categorise them in different sections. It's not always about pumping iron it's not always about training really hard some of these exercises the first two actually the first one i wasn't sold on the second one was all right but this one i'm sold on it yeah it's good the actual strike the force in the strike yeah makes the workout and exercise better and it does it brings it brings your obliques into it if you want them to you can do a proper strike and it brings the shoulders into it, it brings the lats into it and it brings the chest into it I can imagine that being really good if you do it for reps. Next exercise, exercise four, that one. <clears throat> I've tried this earlier. <clears throat> I'm not sure. So, number four, pectoral muscles. Back to the exercise, legs and body in number one position. Grasp the uh, hand, up, well, really, he's got his legs straight there, I'm afraid. They're not in number one position, but I'll, I'll do what book says. So, number one position, grasp the handles, each hand, the arms being extended straight forward on a level with the shoulders, the hands nearly touching each other, palms inwards. Now let the arms go back as far as they can, comfortably, still keeping them on a level with the shoulders and the stiff elbows. Inhale a deep breath as the arms go back, and exhale as you bring them forward. Keep them there for three or four seconds and repeat the movement. This is an, exor this is an excellent exercise for curing round shoulders and for doing away with that little hollow place so frequently seen in young ladies immediately beneath the collarbone so this hollow that they have women apparently right let's go The good thing about this is, if you push forward, extend your shoulders forward as you do it, yeah, you get a chest activation. Don't expect it to be like flies, yeah, because in. But if you just push forward like that, you get activation in the chest, yeah, and it is starting to do something. I'm going to swap stands so that I give this side a go, yeah. I'm straight. Not bad. Not bad. Now, with my training brain, yeah, I see these workouts as uh, perfect warm-ups, yeah, just to get warmed up and then start doing the real training, yeah. But I wouldn't rule them out. I wouldn't rule them out. I think they're quite good 
but they're not for me it's not a workout yeah I'm not getting a pump I'm not working out so exercise number five let's have a look at this one we're getting to some nitty gritty now it seems a bit more right so what are you doing there yeah pectoralis major pectoralis major lower portion side to exercise there, beginning with the right advance left foot and bend the knee so that the leg below the knee is at right angle to the floor body erect chest projected <coughs> shoulders drawn back at erect and chin drawn in grasp a hand on each hand that in the left being held firmly to the left pectoral muscle just below the clavicle that in the right hand being on a level with the right shoulder now bring the right hand steadily and firmly to a point just in front of the right groin inhaling as it comes down and retaining it in the position for four or five seconds then let the arm return to the horizontal position and repeat and then repeat on the other side so it goes like this so we've got this arm there and this arm there yeah and then we pull down to the grind one two three four five and back one two three four five and back three four five swap sides so now we've got this here and this here yeah bend this knee down one two three Four, and five that's another good exercise yeah not if you want to get a big pumpy pumpy it's a good exercise I'll tell you what they're good for mind to muscle yeah and that actually got me thinking about this muscle here this this knuckle and that's where it trained yeah so if you if you wanted to warm up to the bigger things then you warm up on that yeah you get these ready for what they're going to do but what it does do it puts your mind your muscles connected yeah i like it i actually do like it i can't imagine getting ginormous on it but i do like it and also on number five it says you sorry exercise number six now pectoralis major upper portion and anterior deltoid side to the exercise and in precisely the same position as number five the movement in this case is made by bringing the extended horizontal arm straight forward in front of the body. Always keeping on a level with the shoulder, retaining there for a few seconds, then returning and repeating. This exercise may be more effective on the two muscles mentioned by standing with the back to the exercise and performing action as before. See exercise four. I'm confused as to what it means here. I mean, we put it in front of the body before, so we've done that. The, it, that doesn't make sense to me, same as what we've just done. Now, exercise seven, latimus dorsi and teres major. Side to the exercise, so beginning with the right and taking precisely the same position as in number five. In this case, the movement is made by bringing the hand down to the back, to the right hip. Right, so it's this way then. <coughs> so, this arm here. This arm here, yeah, we step out. One, two, three, four. Right, that's two. Six, eight, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn round. So you can see, one, two, three, four, five. 
Believe it or not, that is a fantastic exercise. Yeah, from a rehabilitation point of view. It gets under here and it gets all the rotator cuffs. They've got to work. And believe it or not, they do shake, especially the weak one. Yeah, and I felt it. It was a very, very good rehabilitation workout. If anybody had that workout in the plan regular, they wouldn't get weak rotator cuffs like I've got. I guarantee it. Yeah, that is good. Right, last exercise for today, because it's a long book, I'm going to do a few at a time. We've got exercise eight. So that's the picture there. Yeah, put my glasses on, last exercise. Exercise eight, deepening the chest from behind. Back to the exercise, legs and body in the same position as in number one. Either leg being advanced, a handle in each hand, palms front. <clears throat> arms hanging down from the sides of the body, elbow stiff and hands about a foot in front of each thigh. Now let the hands go backwards and then upwards as high as you can go in a straight line. Taking care not to allow them to spread as they go backwards. Inhale deeply through the nose as they go backwards and when they have reached the highest point, hold the breath for three to four seconds. Then return and repeat the exercise. <clears throat> right. So it looks like this. Mm. So we've got a leg bent, yep, and up and back one. You're going to have them back, yeah? Wow. Again, that exercise gets a big thumbs up. Now, what you've got to realise is the dumbbell workout, like dumbbell system, were designed to get the body ready for bigger and better things. Yeah? This strand system was designed to get the body ready for bigger and and better things, yeah. More lifting, more heavy weights. Now, when you train with these, with that in mind, yeah, and you realise it's not a piece of training apparatus that's going to build muscle, it's a piece of training apparatus to move on to the next level, yeah, then this becomes really, really clever, yeah. Now, what's the verdict? I've done eight exercises. At first, I was unsure, but then the penny dropped and I realised what it's all about. It's not a training piece of equipment that's going to get you jacked in the gym. It's a piece of training equipment for the supreme novice, yeah, to get his body, his mind to muscle connection, everything working as it should, yeah, before moving on to heavier things, yeah. Now, when I was younger, I just moved on to heavier things, yeah. Now look at me, injuries galore. That, with the mindset that is to get you ready for the next level is brilliant. And I particularly liked that exercise. So I've got damaged shoulders, yeah. Now, as soon as I do that, it pulls the shoulders back. And then as soon as I do that, it sets the shoulder in the socket. Nice, yeah. It's, it's a brilliant rotated exercise, 
yeah really good and it stretches it's got a stretch on it stretches the lats at the top and it stretches the chest at the bottom yeah it's a really really good exercise and I can understand now what this is all about it's not it's not to get you pumped and jacked it's to get you ready for the next level so I'm really really glad I bought it yeah it's really really good but don't buy one if uh, you've got the mindset that you're going to do you know big workouts on it it's not for that but I tell you what it really is good for you before I sign off it really is a good rehabilitation tool and if you use that in conjunction with your training yeah just to keep everything in mind how you're positioning your body and the stretches nice gentle workouts yeah that is a good companion to a good workout yeah it's not going to get these pumped even though it kind of did weirdly enough yeah i love it i love it yeah keep training right just before i sign up completely i'm going to show you something yeah the chest expander does work chest if you use it right so i'm um, that in front yeah pull it to there now instead of letting it just rock it back yeah stop it and it works this part so we're gonna pull it nice yeah and then slowly forward the slower you go the better keep it slow and all of a sudden the chest comes into play yeah try and keep the shoulders in neutral not back not forward this is where i've been making mistakes training with this kit and it probably led to this injury getting worse so the shoulders neutral none of this set back no you know what i mean nice and neutral at the side of the body where they should be yeah keep them there so pull nice and slow not too much of a heavy weight yep to there and then slowly and already that chest is feeling it yep to there slow again breathe through it and slow really slow again slow and that crucifies the chest yeah absolutely crucifies the chest and there's only five ten pound on there yeah now keep training